So welcome back. So let's just make sure that our application is actually still running. I'll just do a local host. Oh, I still get the welcome back. I also can do a customer. Let's just see I get an empty list back. So that works. So that was the get request for the customer. No ID in, in the end, right? So that was one of the basic commands. Let's try and do it from Postman as well. A get request. No extra things in here. Just getting a customer. Okay. Let's try and do a post request again with the customer. And of course, now we want to actually add some body information. So I'm going to go into bodies and let's not put that one in there. I'm just going into the code. I'm going to steal this guy right here because that's what we want to put inside our customer. And we just have a start end bracket here. There we go. Always do both the start and end. That's at least my advice. Then you won't forget anything. So I put in his first name, last name, email, phone, and shoe size. And of course, I select raw here and I select JSON application application JSON, which provides this header. We talked about that earlier, the content type of application JSON. So now we should actually be able to post this new customer. Let's see if it works. I'll just press post and you get an ID back, meaning that he's probably posted. Let's try and just read all just to see if it works. And there we go. We can get the customer. Let's try and do the put. So we want to update a specific customer. Let's just grab his ID just like we would expect. You can add his ID in the end and then let's just update his first name. Like this, we're going to rename this guy. Uh, going to my body here, I'm going to rename him to build two, uh, something like that. I'm just going to do the post and let's see what happened. Get a response back, one modified, everything looks okay. I'll do the get for this specific user and I get him back as build two one. Okay, so the post also works. Let's try and do the delete as the final one. There we do a send. I do a get all again or a get single and he's gone. And the same with this one. So I just tested the entire CROD setup. Everything seems to be running, but how does it know where to go with these different routes? Let's look at that next time.